And guess what actually happened? I fell asleep before the coffee finished brewing. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Um, in fact, it's gotten so ridiculous that I have actually created a new season. So season five was finishing the archiving, and I did finish it like last month, right? So season six is just like I can't stay awake, you know, like trying to trying to stay awake and not being able to. Um, on the more serious side of things, um, the fact that I fall asleep every time I eat does suggest um, that I may want to get them. See, I, I just had my, my, my blood sugars tested and they said it was fine, but um, I don't know. Um, well, I say just, that was in October. Next time I get a blood test, I'll have to make sure they do the, uh, they do the diabetes thing. Um, I still think it's mostly the weather. But, um, it's 8 o'clock, I'm awake, and, uh, let's get these dishes done. And, uh, see, now, because I've been sleeping, I've got some editing to do. And then I can get to the CDs. Um, and it's, it's a brand new day, it's the 15th, so I guess we'll start a new vlog, huh? Reality check. It's Sunday afternoon, and the only poll I've seen in Oregon has Clinton winning by 15 points. Now, it's a Fox poll. So you can take it skeptically. Regardless. Um. I think Sanders ought to have a good chance in Oregon. Except that it's closed. And you know how he does in those closed primaries, right? Not so good. Um. I think everybody in the world, um, thought he would do well in Oregon. Um. The, the land of Portlandia. And, uh, it's, um, going to be a real sign of, uh, uh, of the end times if he doesn't win in Portland and he doesn't win in, uh, in Oregon. There's, uh, not really anywhere else to go, right? So it's about 7 o'clock at night, um, and I have at least managed to stay awake all day. Um, in fact, I'm not tired yet. Um, I haven't really done much today besides sit in bed. I mean, I've been awake, but I've been sitting in bed. I think the little bit of coffee I had was probably very beneficial to that. Um, but one of the things I've been doing today... Um, is trying to figure out a little bit more about um, these veins that are popping out of my arms and stuff. Um, I am dehydrated, and I am showing symptoms of dehydration, like you know, like flaky skin and stuff like that. And it is very dry in here. Um, we ended up with a long spring. We had a we had a nice short winter and a really long spring, and I, I guess I've been over this a bunch of times. It's just the way that the the system is down here is that when that happens, it gets really really dry down here. Um, and that's a reality. But I have a new theory with this. Um, it seems like. It kind of started happening around the same time, maybe a little bit before, but around the same time as I boosted my estrogen. Now, one of the things that boosting your estrogen will do is create a, a shift in fat distribution in your body. Meaning that there's going to be fat moving from A to B around your body, um, but I haven't increased my diet. Right, so my body is getting these instructions from these hormones, from these chemicals, right, that are saying do this with the fat, but I'm, I haven't given it any extra fat to do anything with. Um, so I, I, I'm thinking perhaps that um, 
it's a kind of a temporary consequence of of the hormone redistribution. Um, if that's the case, hopefully it should um, resolve itself um, as um, the effects of the hormones stabilize. But um, I'm also going to be I, I'm going to have to introduce a second meal into my diet, I think. Okay, so... For right now, um, the way that's going to work itself out is I'm going to add a second bagel. Um, as it is, a lot of the times I have a hard time finishing my meal. Um, especially with the eggs. Like I, I, I never finish the eggs. I always have to wait and have the eggs a little bit later. Right? Um... Whereas the bagel-based meals, um, I'm usually able to actually finish. Um, and I've noticed that it seems to get better um, when I'm having more junk food, right? So it got better this week. Um, what What's something about this week? Well, um, I had nachos twice this week. And, um, I had a pizza, you know, like, this is a lot of extra food that, um, worked its way in, right? So, and, and what's happening is that as I'm, you know, as that extra food has moved itself back out, um, I'm noticing, um, a little bit more, um, it's starting to show a little bit more. So, um... I don't think it's exactly that my diet is too small. Like, I, I don't think it's exactly that I'm not getting enough calories. I think it's that um, I'm confusing my body, right? Um, it, my body's being told to move the fat around from A to B, but the consequence is that there's less there. Than there was, right? Um, and so, you know, I'm getting exposed veins on my shoulders and my arms and stuff because there's just less fat there, right? Um, so I think I need to eat, eat just a little bit more. Um, rather than... Um, so yeah, the positive effects of this that I noticed last week were like, if I add a ridiculously big meal in, right, um, like like an extra large pizza, uh, or a, uh, um, you know, two two bags of Doritos with a half a block of cheese and uh, you know a half a container of Caesar dressing, right. Um, Rather than do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do this a little bit more um, incrementally, right? Um, bagels are high in calories. Uh, it, it's carbs specifically, right? Your, bar, your body stores carbs as fat. Um, now I need to point out that this isn't like the first time that <laughs> um, the thoughts crossed my mind, right? Um, you'll notice that I have uh, an ice cream, uh, it, it's kind of like a cross between a smoothie and a milkshake every morning, or every day when I wake up. I do that because I know that my body needs fat, right? Um, but I, I'm getting the impression that with even more estrogen, it's just not enough, right? So, like I said, I don't know if that's going to fade out, um, in the long term, um, but I, I'm going to try to do it incrementally in the short term. So um, I'm going to have the meal that I have plus a bagel. Um, now, to start off with the bagel, it's going to be... Uh, I'll probably just put some margarine or maybe some cheese on it. Um, starting in June, um, I think what I'll probably do is I'll probably get some peanut butter or some Nutella or both. Um, and uh, that's how that'll work. Um, if 
frankly, I can't even say that every day I'll do it, right? It's just going to be like, I'm going to need uh, to have the option available, right? Because I, I am hungry sometimes when I go to bed. And I've been just kind of telling myself, you know, I'm getting my, you know, close to 2,000 calories a day in my main meal. You know, like I design these meals to make sure I get everything I need, right? Um, they may seem ridiculous, but if you if you sit down with the calculator and you work it out, you'll realize that um, they're just about optimal. Um, I just I, I don't think I'm getting enough bulk calories. Um, the other um, thing, though, that I need to keep in mind is that um, I change color. Um, throughout the seasons I'm a I'm a leaf you could say um we've only known each other since uh I guess the end of October um and that might be kind of a an extra factor kind of thing right I don't think it's the total factor I don't think it's like everything but um they say that um, if your skin's whiter, um, then um, your veins are more visible, right? I get very pale in the winter, as you've seen. Um, something that you will notice, uh, and I mean, it's dependent on how much time I spend outside. Um, the fact that I'm not smoking anymore uh, means that I'm inside a lot more which is probably has something to, like, normally by this time of year, I'm, I'm developing a bit of a tan, right? Because I spend, you know, three or four hours a day outside smoking, right? Um, when you add it all up, you know. So, but I mean, if I do get some time outside, and I'm sure I will, um, I will get quite dark in the uh in the summer um my genes are kind of complicated right so it's like on the one hand um i've got a bunch of like northern european um literally norwegian um you know finnish uh scottish these are pretty white people right um it's mostly on my mom's side. On my dad's side, um, I've got Jewish, Italian, uh, some French, some Cree. These are people that have um, more of an olive uh, complexion, um, kind of a tanny brownish. Um, and I will fluctuate very dramatically. Um, I had somebody a few years ago accuse me of wearing blackface. Um, I just tanned. <laughs> I just tanned. It was just... Um, I, I, I didn't even answer. You know, I didn't even respond. It was just like... You know, like, like, what do you... Like, somebody accuses you of wearing blackface when you're just... You know... <laughs> you naturally tan in the summer. I, I, I couldn't even... I couldn't even believe it. So I, I, I said nothing. I just walked away, but it has it has happened. Um, I, I I I get very 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 brown. In fact, it's already kind of a little bit, right? Um, so as my skin darkens, uh, I might kind of hide it up a little, right? Um, we'll see how that works out. But um, that's kind of the, my, my new hypothesis. Um, I've taken the coffee up and down, and it doesn't really seem to have much of a difference. But um, I, I think the bulk amount of food that I'm eating is having a difference. And I need to make sure that I'm hydrated, right? Um, the... I mean, we're having, like, like, this is a record cold snap, right? This is, like, the coldest it's ever been here this time of year, right? So it's supposed to lift tomorrow. 
Um, if it does, and I can get the heat down, um, that that'll help with the you know with the dryness too, right? So. Um, But my new my new hypothesis is that uh, all the other things are kind of minor factors, but the uh, just the, the, the just what the hormones are doing with the, with the, with the just yeah, with the redistribution of fat in my body um, is leaving me with deficits, and uh, the solution's got to be just to eat more. Um, Either the long run or the short run, right? So, um, for years, the way I functioned was this: I ate when I was hungry. That makes sense, huh? Um, but for years, um, I had much less stringent. Um, I didn't have to worry about, about about my food budget nearly as much, right? Um, the diet that I constructed um, is kind of a, a way to ensure that I'm able to get the nutrients that I require um, and uh, meet a specific uh, budgetary um, goal. Um, but, but like I say, I'm thinking I'm... Um, well, actually, let me take a step back. It actually was, I think, very effective um, uh, up until a few months ago, and and I and I do think the estrogen shift is when it really kind of started to make a difference. Um, and I need to adjust by just increasing the number of calories. So for now, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to have my daily meal, and I am going to eat when I'm hungry. Um, and what I'm going to eat when I'm hungry is a bagel. Um, for the precise reason that uh, it will be stored as fat, um, which is what I need. So, or at least whatever's left will be stored as fat, right? Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and start that right now. Um, one bagel coming up. Um, So yeah, today's been a day that's been spent um, reading up on things. Um, I didn't get a touch on those uh, CDs yet. Um, I did a lot of um, reorganizing uh, things um, and playlists and stuff. Uh, it was stuff that needed to get done, but it was also kind of procrastinating. Or kind of, I'm not procrastinating anything. Um, it's it's kind of nothingy. Um, and, uh, so it's going to be, um, I've fallen a little behind on the Hillary thing, um, and, and I'm, a, I'm aware of it, um, I may let it go, um, not out of any specific support for her, um, but out of a realization that um, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't think it's going anywhere. Unfortunately. I think that... Uh, It's going to take a riot to keep her out of the White House. I think that's the, the, the uh, sad truth of it. And, uh, I'm just wasting my time. I kind of want to just get back to recording. Forget about that bullshit. I don't know. I think that uh, maybe I, I said my bit. And uh, it's time to uh, leave it behind. So yeah, not a, uh, it's another day with nothing concrete to show for anything, but um, 
I feel like to get some things done that needed to get done. And I'm uh, going to keep going. Day's not over yet. Um, maybe I'll... Uh, I think I, I do hope to at least get through the CDs by the end of the day. We'll see how that works out. Okay. I'm going to close my Hillary thing down. Well, I'm going to let it sit, but I'm going to stop updating it. Maybe I'll change my mind in a few months. If Sanders does run independent or Stein starts generating serious support. But right now, I'm not getting anywhere with this. It's not that anything has changed. It's just that I feel like I'm wasting my time. Well, maybe something has changed. I've broadly lost interest in the cycle altogether. It's becoming clear that we're looking at Trump versus Clinton, which is just yet another sham election run by the two-headed monster. It, it doesn't really matter who wins, as they're essentially interchangeable, so why waste my time? Again, if something else exciting happens on the left, I'll no doubt find a way to say my two bits. But this is shaping up to be the least important election since... Well, no. It really can't get less consequential than 2012. Those guys could finish writing their own bills. Or finish writing each other's bills, you know? You know, who, you know who wrote Obamacare? Mitt Romney. Right? But it's shaping up to be pretty close. So, you know, vote for Hillary or don't. Whatever.